Good morning, Rich Wurzbach here. I'm going to demonstrate the Grease Thief Filter Kit. Uh, this is a kit that we've developed for the collection of filters for the purpose of analysis. So there's a lot of information that you find in a filter uh, that usually ends up in the trash. Um, and often, uh, folks don't know exactly what to do with the filters. They're messy, they're leaking oil out, um, it's hard to get them in a condition where you feel comfortable shipping them uh, to a laboratory that can do this kind of analysis. So we've solved that problem by creating a kit, a kit that addresses all these things. So a little bit of background noise here, but I'm sure when you're looking at your filters and gathering your filters, it's not a quiet, uh, kind of completely clean process. So I want to reflect that reality here and show you how this kit might be used. So let's look at what's in the kit first. <clears throat> We've got a grease thief box here, and inside you've got a number of different tools. You have some uh, bottles that you can use uh, to capture oil, liquid oil samples. Uh, you've got a couple of these in different formats. You've got some tubing in case you want to uh, gather oil from the, uh, from the housing or from the reservoir uh, that the uh, filter has been drawing on, maybe upstream and downstream of the filter before the filter is removed is kind of a filter efficiency test, but you have a number of bottles here that allow you to capture that. Also, you have the ability to capture debris that you might find in the housing, in the supply, discharge lines, uh, anything like that. And we've actually already used one of these in this case because we've captured uh, some material off the surface of the filter that we think might be very important to the analysis. So you have these to take the samples. You also have this inflatable a foam pack that kind of locks everything into position in the kit um, the, when you're returning that so that we don't have things banging around. One of the things we want to look at with our filters is what is the condition of the filter. Was the filter in good shape? Was the filter damaged before it was put into service? Um, while it was in service, did it collapse? Did it blow through? So we can look at all these things um, and it's difficult to assess that if we don't have good packaging to protect the filter because that damage could be secondary. It could be after you remove it. It could be uh, while it's getting to the lab. It could be in the packaging process. And I've seen a lot of folks uh, ship things using kind of absorbent materials and then that absorbent material gets into the filter and so forth. It could be packing peanuts. It could be uh, some kind of uh, oil absorbing zeolite. Um, you really don't want all that material in the filter as well. So we've kind of uh, addressed that. A second aspect of what you have here uh, is uh, this overpack. And so the overpack, you've got the ability to uh, fit the filter inside of here. Um, I'm also going to show you for small spin-on filters, you've got this device, which is basically a, a filter housing, um, uh, filter housing, if you will. And we use it as a lid, so you can screw that onto the filter um, kind of take that up against the o-ring, seal it up, and you kind of capture the oil inside. Uh, both the oil that's on the discharge side of the filter and the oil that's headed into the filter. So we can get it back in the lab and we can analyze the, the oil that then leaks out from both sides. We can capture that over time. And so in another video I'll show you how that whole process works. So this is the setup of the kit where we wanted to start. Um, and then I'll take you into the next steps as well.